This is the last video in my scissor sharpening and repairing series, or as one of the comments said, my scissor uh, obsession. But anyway, it's how to use the set block that we made in the previous video. A common misconception on a pair of scissors is that this gap in here should be tight, that you shouldn't have any gap in here, and that's false. This gap should be six to 12 thousandths of an inch thick. And the way you would measure that would be uh, with a feeler gauge. This is kind of an old one that I've had for a long time. I'll list some in the description in case you don't have one of these. But you just look, see like this one is, this is 10 thousandths. This is seven thousandths, it's .007. And so on this particular scissors, I think, it's going to measure six. This is actually a kind of beat up pair of scissors. But yeah, it measures, you can get in there with a, with a six. And a seven gets kind of tight in there. So this is a minimum gap. With them closed, you want a gap right here at the screw. And then you want the tips to touch. And then if you look down, which you can't see, I don't know how to really give you a picture of that. If you look down between them, you should see a very gentle arc that goes from here to the tip. And it's consistently a consistent arc like this. And it touches at the tip. Doesn't touch anywhere in between here. And you have that arc on both sides. So this one goes this way and this one of course goes that way. And so what that does for you is as you close your scissors, that those arcs meet just at the very tip of the scissors all the way down. If these were perfectly flat, you'd never get them perfectly flat. So when you started closing them, you'd have parts that didn't touch and didn't touch. So if you put that little arc on there, it makes them touch just at the cutting edge all the way down. So if you don't have the proper situation in here where you have the two arcs touching at the tip, and you've got a gap right here, then you're gonna to have to adjust that. So what you wanna do first is get your set your gap right here. So loosen that screw up, and I, I made a special tool to loosen these. You can also buy them. Uh, I'll put a link in there to you. Wolf Industries uh, sells a lot of good things for scissors if you need any tools or something like that. And I'll try to remember to link those in the description for you. But you wanna loosen this up until you get that, the set between six and 12 thousandths right here in the joint and then put them together and see if you've got that situation where you've got a nice even arc, very gentle arc, and then the tips are touching down here. If not, you're gonna to wanna to adjust that. And the way you adjust it is, you're gonna find the groove that the scissors will just fit in. And this one's too tight. This one's just right for it. As you bend, you want to just gently give it a little bit of a bend, working your way down to the tip. Be careful because the tip's gonna bend really easy. And then check it. And then flip it over, do the other side. And this would be increasing the bend slightly. Just keep working your way down the blade very gently. Just keep checking it. This one's in good set. All right, so let's say somebody had stepped on these scissors and they're actually bent the other way. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you always bend behind the area that you want to adjust. So if you need a little more, if you need a little more arc this way, right in here, you wanna get right behind it and just give it a little bit of that and start working it out. And just keep looking at it. You'll see it as it starts getting worked out. It's kind of hard to explain. On here, you just gotta kinda work with it. And you could also just get you a piece of just strap steel or something and kinda practice. Or you probably have a cheap pair of scissors around that you could play with. This one we made out of brass in the mill and a lot of people won't have the option to do that. This is just a piece of oak that I made one out of. And if you put the gaps far enough apart, you should be able to get in there and work those scissors just like that. And you could just cut one notch for the actual scissors that you're going to use. And I think that would be serviceable for you so you don't have to try to make something like this. You could also use the jaws of your vise, but just be careful you're not marking up your scissors because these are steel jaws and you really don't want that against your 
scissors. Now be careful about over bending your scissors because these blades can break on you. Don't ever hold the uh, tool that you're adjusting with in your hand because if you break it and it drives into you, it certainly will cut you. All right, well, I hope that helps you. Just remember the geometry that it's supposed to be and then work your scissors until you get them into that geometry. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.